if you asked me to define myself, diabetic diabetes would not come up. It, it really, it just really wouldn't. So it's just like, yeah, I'm John C. Baldwin. I uh, live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, but yeah, and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes uh, at eight years old. So I'm the third generation of Baldwins that uh, had type 1 diabetes. My father was a diabetic, my grandmother, um, and my sister who passed away. My father, having both his legs amputated, resonated with me because he told me and kind of demanded that um, I'm the one that breaks the cycle. Step one was acknowledging that there was an issue, that I, I had a problem. And when you look at the obesity rates in America, whether you're a diabetic or not, there is a cultural change that like kind of needs to happen. And it's not about shaming people for how they are because people are gaining weight because of a, a lack of something in their lives. And these are conversations that people don't want to have because it makes us uncomfortable. Uh, step two was kind of mapping out these goals that I had in mind and, and little micro plans as to how to get there. You know, going in with an actual game plan. Another step, be active, be active, be active. Do something that you enjoy doing and like keep your body in like in motion. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I literally go outside to just walk. It feels amazing. I just really have seen the benefit, not just physically, but uh, just my emotional well-being as well from being active and working out. There are going to be missteps. Sometimes I can get so focused on what I didn't do correctly. The biggest step I've taken for myself is, yeah, forgiving myself and letting go of the hope that the past could have been any different. If I had the ability to talk to myself at eight years old, uh, kind of would just remind him that first step is always the hardest to take. But you're John C. Baldwin. And everything that you've set out to achieve, you're, you're going to do it.